Hi, thank you for watching this video. This is Kirtan here, your Dynamics 365 consultant. So today we are going to look into how to use chain of commands. So as we know, there is a functionality which is called extension in Dynamics 365 for the customization. And chain of command is also part of it. So there are two ways to do the customization. One is through event handlers and other is to chain of, through chain of command. And I personally feel that chain of command is much easier and much organized way to do the customization as you actually create the extension and wrap the methods around it. So let's get right into it. Hi. So for our example of a chain of command, so we'll look into how we can override a standard method and wrap our, our logic to accomplish our task and wrap it around the standard uh, method with a chain of commands. So for our example, let's look at the custard table and we'll look at the code. So on the custard table, we have validate field method. So here you will see validate write, validate field. So in my example, I have added a new field and I want to do a validate write method on that. So st as a standard way, I cannot uh, overwrite this code because uh, previously over layering was allowed, but now the Microsoft has stopped it. So you cannot change the basic or base code of the application. So to achieve our object, we'll have to create a class, extension class, which would actually refer to our uh, custard table. And uh, we'll be creating a method, which would be actually uh, in a programming way, it is an overriding of a method because the definition is similar, but it's an extension to table underscore dev underscore extension and in the method in the property of the class we are going to define this as extension of sorry i type it correctly wrongly extension extension of uh, table str so there is a method called table str and i'm going to specify cost table so now that i'm defining extension of the cost table and and we'll close it with uh, all the required back brackets and now we are going to do the method overloading so sorry chain of commands so i want to do the chain of commands for validate right so my definition would be boolean validate right and I'm going to keep it as is. Well, it's right. And now I have to specify next. So this is another uh, mandatory parameter which is required for the chain of commands. Whenever you are wrapping your own logic around the standard method, you need to call the parent logic parent method first, and then you should call your own logic. So for a, my example, I'm going to call validate right next validate right and then for example i have cast table i'm going to create an object of my cast table
this and now I'm going to validate if this dot oh sorry cast table dot dot account number equals to taste so if it is account number equals to taste return So this is just a basic example of how to call the chain of command for our uh, development purpose. So I'm going to rename this uh, class as well. Can't rename extension. Oh, sorry. So I already added it to. Okay. Now it is renamed and you can see whenever the init method would be called it will come after the validation it will come over here so we'll just check it out this is my dev server so i'm just going to click on this so this will act oh sorry i need to build this so now when we are building the project all the required compilation will happen and uh, once we run the form we'll be we should be able to see this so let's wait for it to finish up the compilation meanwhile Build is completed. It's a very small project, so it shouldn't take much time. Uh, and uh, now it is actually going to the code which we have written. And uh, now we this should hit our uh, debugger. So let's wait for it. So now I'm going to change this classification group and then we'll save it. So our uh, validation, validate right will hit. Okay, save. And here you can see that it has actually come to our uh, code where we have written our uh, customization and it will try to do the validation so i hope this helps you in uh, continuing your customization journey for dynamics 365 fno happy taxing thank you